Yeah, Brendan, obviously we saw the uh, <clears throat> news with Alex. What can you tell us um, and how long do you expect him to be out? Yeah, it, it's, um, it's, we're just following protocol and it, he's just unavailable today. And that's really all I can say on it at, at this, this point. Eshelman's going to start for him and we're hoping, hope he's back soon. Next up, Brett Hollander. Hey, Brandon, the um, burden of the, the losing streak against the Yankees, how frustrating is it and just to be able to turn the page and move on from it? Well, we haven't played well against the Yankees for two years, so um, hoping that we can start doing that today. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just we just haven't matched up well against them and you know, we seem to score more runs than we do. And, and we've had a tough time uh, of beating them. It's a really good club. It's a very, very talented team. I know they got some guys banged up. They did last year also. It doesn't really matter because they have they replace big league guys with big league guys and uh, still have a really, really good back end of the bullpen and, and good pitching. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough task, and hopefully we can start a new day today. Rich Dubroff. Uh, Brandon, what can you tell us about Panzer Alberto and if Sean Armstrong will be uh, ready to come off tomorrow? Army's gonna uh, it's gonna throw tomorrow. I, I think that I would hope we'll get Armstrong sometime this week, but I think that that's if everything goes well. Uh, Bert is gonna go out and test his uh, his knee, and if he's able to go this first game, then he'll be in there. So, um, you know, Nooney came out the other day with a tweak in his hamstring, also. So we're we're uh, you know we're we're a little unstable right now on our lineup. So we're gonna see how these guys react. So yeah, go test it, and, and then we'll uh, make decisions here, hopefully soon. Nathan Ruiz. Hey, Brandon. Hanser was announced as your guys' uh, Roberto Clemente nominee the other day. What has he meant to this team over the last couple of years? Uh, Well-deserved. I know how excited he was to, to uh, be the recipient of that. I read Dan's article this morning, just a really fantastic uh, – uh, look at, at Hanser and his life and, and what he's done uh, really cool about his family. A lot of things I didn't know, which was really fun to read about because he's just a, such a special guy and so loved in our clubhouse, like he's loved, was loved in Texas's clubhouse and loved in, uh, you know, by his family. And you can see why, because he's just, uh, uh, I, he's just a character. He's a, he's just an awesome character with, with great personality, loves to play the game. It shows, that's why fans love him just because he plays the game like a kid. And he's the same way in the clubhouse also. So it's an easy guy to – he's an easy coach's favorite, and he's an easy guy to love. Back to Brett Hollander. Brandon, jumping to game two, uh, Jorge Lopez. What did you like in his first start, and, and what does he need to improve upon big picture? I thought he threw the ball really well in Buffalo. I thought there was an opportunity for him to get out of an inning kind of early where he would have gone uh, – Scoreless through five, I think there was. He really cruised through the first three or four innings. I like his stuff. It's a tall right-hander with good angle, 93, 95 miles an hour. Um, he was aggressive in the strike zone against the Blue Jays. Uh, the secondary stuff, he was landing it. So I, I really like the potential in Georgie, and uh, hopefully carries this last start into into the second start for his, uh, game two today. Rich Dubroff. Um, Brandon, could you elaborate a little more on Nunez? Is he unavailable today? Is he day to day? Well, he's going to go test it like Alberto is. So I just didn't want to make any decision on, on him. If he's, if he's able to go, he'll be in the lineup. Um, it's, I, it's not as serious. It was just that he came out with a little bit of a tight hamstring in that game against the Mets and came in for treatment yesterday, got treatment this afternoon. I just want to make be sure – and make, let him run and, and do his stuff on the field before I make a decision on, you know, with him at the lineup. Steve Molesky. Brandon, does uh, Eshelman have kind of the right poise and temperament to handle getting a start at, I guess, somewhat late notice? I'm not sure exactly how much he had. And what has he done this year? I mean, he's been pretty effective the times you put him out there. Yeah, he's been very effective, yeah. Um, I wasn't concerned when we, we called Tom this morning. I wasn't, I wasn't too concerned about if he was going to be ready or not. I, uh, I, I know that he loves the pitch. I know he loves to start. I think he, you know, he's taken advantage of his opportunities. I remember a start in Anaheim last year that was kind of last minute. 
and he went out through really well against the Angels. Uh, you know, Wade LeBlanc goes it goes down in the first a week or so, two weeks ago, and and he pitches really well there in, in a rushed situation. So I'm not concerned at all about about the the buildup to his start because um, I know he's always ready. So it's a great opportunity for him. 